fact we've taken a look at the weather and we decided it's pretty awful. So we're going out for a little day, day out. Not sure where we're going yet, are we? No, I'm trying not to drive on the grass as well because that's pretty wet. If I go over there. Bum. That's it. There we go. How not to drive on the grass. <laughs> yeah, so, so the um, first place we're going to go is the Moira, Moira Furnace, furnace we, Museum we were talking about. Park. We're going to walk there, but yeah. the weather's got paid to that, hasn't it? Yeah, that's right. So it says it's going to take us three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> and it's 0.8 of a mile. Yeah. So we'll catch you very soon. Yeah, that's right. The old railway bridge, then. I think it is, yeah. So we've got high vehicles there, so we better watch out for that. There's no sign banning of high vehicles yet, is there? That's where we were yesterday, isn't it? Here, presumably. Yep. Did say it was short. Turn right. Short. Then you have reached your destination. <laughs> that would be the shortest trip ever. <laughs> I know we should have walked, but it is raining. That's quite an impressive structure, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Uh, what would be even more impressive if we can find somewhere to park. <laughs> So, so what does that parking. say? Parking for? Tenants only. Tenants, oh, that's okay. going to cause a problem then, isn't it? Yeah. Can't Where's park. the coach parking then? <sighs> oh, there's more parking over there, so maybe we've got to go over I've there. I've got to go over there. I always take more care when I, well, I was in a higher van, but I always just take it slowly because if you hit anything when you're travelling slowly, mm. you're likely to do less damage. Turn to the right, and there's loads of space here, isn't there? You're going to reverse in. Oh, re reverse in. Well, it makes it easier to get out then, doesn't yeah. it? So many parts right, right beside you. Yeah. Because well, you've luckily got your reversing camera. Yeah. A bit further back, but let's have a look. All right, the, this is the furnace half at the base of the furnace chimney where molten iron and slag were drawn out. The molten iron filled the hearth, it was released by the removal of a clay bung through the casting arch. So the free, free flowing iron was channeled into a pattern 
press in a bed of special casting sound in the foundry. And the pattern consists of channels with short parallel branches running off and reminded people of a sow with a row of suckling pigs and gave rise to the name Pig Iron. So there you go. Yeah, I that. Probably should have known that from my school history really, shouldn't I? You can get an idea of how big this is when you look up at it. And that's the hearth then. Yeah. Okay. Have we'll a look round the side. I don't think it's supposed to go up there. Hmm. There's another sort of. I suppose the other furnace was there, wasn't it? Yeah. Must be furnaces around the side, don't they? Right, I suppose we better go and have a look at the museum, really. Yeah, yeah so even on a really grey day, <laughs> you always find something to do in the night time, yeah, can't you? Yeah, you can get it to bring you somewhere. Yeah. So presumably, once they've made the pig iron, they'd load it on the canal. And take it down there. It was cold down the other end, isn't it, where we were yesterday. Yeah. I bet this is not open, you know. <laughs> there you go. It's what we like to see, isn't it? Open from the first weekend in April until the end of October half term. What day is it today? It's April the 3rd, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. we're... So it's not the first weekend in April, because no. that's next weekend. Yeah. And even if it was the first weekend in April, April. Yeah. it's Tuesday today. Yeah. So I've done it again. You've done it again. I? Yeah. Let's have a little walk around the canal. <laughs> yes. There's obviously the boat that takes you for little rides at, for, yeah. or from the first weekend in April. <laughs> so I suppose we could bring the little doggies for a little walk then. After lunch. After lunch. We're, We're going to have some lunch shortly. Yeah. I don't know. I'm glad we didn't walk all the way here, because that would have been even more disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know how we do it. So this is the site of the engine house, and uh, it's a large steam engine filled the rectangular building with its coal-fired. So it's here, presumably. Wasn't it? yeah, yeah. yeah. It's coal-fired boiler and a square chimney were built outside to the left, so you could just about see the remains of the chimney. Uh, he said, uh, after, after the furnace ceased iron production, families working in the local industry used the buildings as housing. So they, they were actually living, living in this, in, uh, in this, in this, yeah. this house here until the 70s, apparently. No, no, um, 1944. Oh, 1940. No, the canal closed in 1944. Yeah. And the arches of the bridge were converted into housing. And because it, the buildings continue to be lived in, it survived as a hor historic site. Also, if the furnace had been more of a success for iron making, it would have unlikely to have kept its original form. Right. So the engine house, which is uh, that, yeah. which was here, yeah. so survived until the 1970s. Right. Uh, it, it's only known from photographs and archaeological evidence uncovered in 1984 when the engine house was excavated and refilled to preserve the remaining structure. So they had three cottages here, and they yeah. also had houses in those arches. Yeah, houses up in there as well. And then uh, they obviously reopened the canal. Yeah, and they reopened the, the canal in 1984. Right. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. And it wasn't a success, the furnace, because they found it easier to um, to dig coal out. Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to need uh, slicing. Slicing. With a slicing knife. vegetarian bacon.
Bridge is cold. Bridge is very cold, isn't it? Yeah. Turned it down already. Yeah, very efficient. Let's turn it over in a minute. You're on the ridge, monkey. <laughs> Tara's on, on the bed. bed. Oh, a more collapsible mate? kettle. It's a bigger one than ours, that one. Yeah, so you've put all our water in, haven't you? Yeah. Always happens. <laughs> <Tara>. <laughs> the sun's coming out. Yeah. Andy. So we're at Mora Lock. Next to the co op. Next to the co op. Nice bit of budage going on here. Oh. Yes, there's Ashby Canal mine seam markers. So that tells you the meters below ground. The lowest one is 387 meters below ground, Kilburn. The lowest one is 165 meters below ground. Wow. So our little walk has just taken us back to where we were yesterday. Yeah, we can walk back on the other side. That's what I'm wondering if we can. Yeah. Well, there is a path on the other side, so. Yeah, there's the basin, you see. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice little walk. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get more, you ignorant gear. <laughs> Sorry about that, Dan. Link above. <laughs> right, so this is Bath Yard Basin, which was the site of a coal mine, canal terminus, and a health giving spa. So the terminus basin was restored in 2005. So in 1815, the Earl of Moira sank a shaft next to the canal looking for coal. Salty water was pumped from the depths of the shaft and the Earl was told that this had valuable medicinal properties as there was a fashion for taking the waters. They renamed the mine Moira Baths and developed a health-giving spa alongside, alongside it. But who wants to bathe next to a coal mine? <laughs> There you go. So apparent, apparently, there was a hotel there. So, picture of the hotel there, somewhere. On the left. On the, on the left, I think it's on the right because it said the windows were open. It must have been a hot summer's day, oh. right by a coal mine. There you go. There. Miners, bath pit. Miners descend a 208 foot shaft sitting on iron loops walking by candlelight a mile to the coal face, fire damp and gob fire a flickering danger. 1845 killed, what's that say? Killed from injuries suffered in an explosion, Thomas Dennis and his son William, aged 16. Come here kinsman, I'm almost burnt to death. Dangerous wasn't it? Oh incredibly dangerous, yeah. yeah. That where it says black to green. But, yeah. And they've got two lights of so yeah. green and a red. Yeah. Does red mean there was a problem? Well, probably, I don't know. But black to green just means it was from the black country, if you like, or the black of the coal mines, I guess. All them back to green. So it's yeah. a green space. Oh, I see, right, yeah. 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 Definitely got the first flickerings of spring. Right, so we're just going to walk round the basin and go back on the other side of the canal. That's the plan. That's the plan, yeah. 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 Takes you up around the top. Yeah, it's lovely around here. Really nice. Right, so we're back on the other side of the canal. Going back the way we came.
We're getting a bit worried now, aren't we? Because <laughs> this path is taking us away from the canal, so uh, I, I think, think it's the road. I yeah. think it's the road, so I think we'll get back by the road. Yeah. Yeah, so then we've come back to the road. And that's Sarah's wood. Oh, she... No, so you won't be able to bring the van in, no. That's a bit mean, isn't it? And we're back at the co-op. Back to the van then, Pops, eh? So here we are, back at the van. Alright, what are your feet like? Get your feet dry. Hey, it gives you a foot. There you go. And your other one. Yeah, that's it. And your other other one. And your other one. It's trouble with having so many feet, isn't it? Mm. Right, that's it for tonight. I'm going to head back to the site and uh, get some water. Get some water. We've got nine percent now. Yes, yeah, so we've used a lot of water, but uh, it's actually lasted a long time, hasn't yeah, it? It has. It's lasted yeah. what three days. I'll have to stick on here how big the tank is, but uh, yeah, yeah, seems to have lasted longer than a full tank would have done on on our van. On our van, yeah. yeah. So we're probably under the limit safely oh, now. I think we're safe, probably are. We've lost sure. all that water. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you're going to have to fill up with the aqua roll when you get back. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to empty at the motone point. Yeah, yeah. that's right, because uh, yeah. um, we, we didn't get provided with a whale connection for the filling hose, so we're going to use the aqua roll to fill up uh, with water. So I'll show you how that works. Yep. Motown waste points just here, isn't it? Yeah. I think waste. Which side is the waste on? <laughs> on that side, on my isn't side. it? Yeah, because that's where you had your pipe coming out. Oh, yeah. The little drain. It's only a little drain, isn't it? Well, might need you to get out and guide me in, as it were. <laughs> I'm just going to say that that uh, drain point on this van is in the ideal position just behind the rear wheel so you know that if you've got your rear wheel just off the grate you're in the right position for for draining the motor down. Why is the water drained down? Back to the pitch and to the get pitch. some more water. Get some more water. Sorry, the whale aqua pump. Is that what it's called? I think so. I think it was called now. It's the whale water pump anyway. And that's the aqua connection. And that's the pump. Gotcha. That's more like 
Right, so what you do is you step through the menu until you get to this bit that says fill internal tank and you press the enter. And it just won't push. So, sounds promising. Well, it says it's filling, so. Yeah, and I can hear it filling. I'm not going to fill the whole percentage of it filling up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's going 36, 37, 38. That's very good. need full tank so I'm just going to stop it there. And I think that's it from the dogs anyway. The other one are out of going away. Oh there you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably sun's probably too much on that but here we go and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> right that's it for today. We really enjoyed ourselves today haven't we? A yeah, lovely little have. walk. Yeah when we've only gone what was it three miles down the road yeah well we could have walked down there we could have done but it was <laughs> it was horrible it down. this morning yeah. and at least we wouldn't have had the van with us would have we to no. have lunch no to have lunch and a coffee we'd have had to, no we'd have had to walk all the way back yeah so, yeah no, so it yeah good. it was good god that sun's bright now it's really sort of coming in now and we're pleased with the water yeah filling that, and empty that and water it like, makes it so much easier that well connection yeah. I never really realised how much easier it is. It means you can fill it when you want and you, you get a mains kit from uh, Hitchman who do the aqua roll and it means you can leave it connected up and just fill it up when you need it. Yeah. Brilliant. It's brilliant. So we can do various methods, can't we? Yeah. 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 Well, two methods. Well, two methods, yeah. <laughs> well, three. <laughs> three, you said. said it was various. Yeah, well, it's three. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so... Give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon and you can keep updated when we go to... Carsington Water near Ashbourne tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So, see you soon then. Yep. Bye then. Bye.